<laughs> I knew it. Views, <laughs> reaction, satisfaction. Thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you so much for your support. I'm blown away with how much love you guys give me. Okay, so today's video is going to be great essay on dating and mutual funds. I love this guy. Um, oh gosh, he's just so funny. One of the best stand-up comedians I've seen. And yes, that's around the entire world. Anyway, when I saw that he had a new video coming out, I knew we had to watch it. I knew we had to do a reaction to it just because it's just so fun. So anyway, please, you guys, go subscribe to his YouTube channel, um, Arivan SA. I'm gonna leave the link down in the description. Show him some love. Look, dude, I, how does this guy not have like 10 million subscribers already? I don't know. He should have it. Plus, Arivan SA, he's just a good dude. I mean, I got to meet him in person. I went to one of his stand-up comedy shows. Fantastic. If you want to see that video, I'll put that down in the description as well. Anyway, I'll stop talking. Let's watch this video. I'm ranting so much about age. I'm ranting so much about age because I've reached that shitty age in life called 30s. <laughs> 30s is the shitty age where you accept that you're growing old and you join the dark side called 30 plus. <laughs> <laughs> or you do the easier thing whenever people ask you how old you are. Anytime an uncle asks me, Arvind, how old are you? I'll be like, uncle, I'm 29. <laughs> I knew it. I knew Next it. year, Arvind, how old are you? Uncle, I'm 29 running. I'm 29 running. <laughs> Next year, Arvind, how old are you? Uncle, I'm 29 crawling. Can't you see? <laughs> <laughs> I don't want to go to 30. Funnily, today I'm spending all my time reducing my age. But when we were kids, we spent all our time inflating our age. It's you so true. When you had to enter the nightclub and the bouncer would not let you inside. Or when you were hitting on your college senior and that girl wouldn't even believe you hit puberty. Forget hitting on her. <laughs> <laughs> and when you had to enter the first ever porn website in India called desibaba.com. Oh and that website will ask you the most important question at the start of the page, which is, are you sure? You are 18 and above. When I'm 12 itself, I'm like, yes, yes, I'm sweat! <laughs> Dirty dog. Point is, age is overrated. Age is overrated. I'm a living example for it. Because when I'm 30 and I'm interested in a girl who's 20, they call me an asshole. <laughs> but then when I become 40 and that girl becomes 30 and both of us realize that the market is dry <laughs> and we decide to get together, no. That time they call it arranged marriage. <laughs> Hey, I was not an asshole, I'm a visionary. <laughs> I knew this situation would happen 10 years ago. I approached it that time itself. You see, at 30, you start getting unwanted information in your life that people wait till you become 30 to come and drop that you have no use for. But some people are just saddest like that. Like this girl, I've not seen her since school, but after my Chennai show, she walked up to me and she was like, hey, Aravind, you know, I used to have a big crush on you back in those days. <laughs> like, okay, why are you telling me now? No, no, mm -hmm. back in school, I couldn't tell you because I was single, you were single. Had I told you, something would have happened between us. <laughs> but now I'm so married, I have a couple of babies, a fantastic husband, I meet him and all. Yeah, I just thought I'll drop this information to you. Yeah, keep the information. Just keep the information. What do we do with this information? What value does this information have in my life today? It's actually because true though. Like my uncle, I had a grand uncle. Before dying, he wanted to make one last good impression on me because he's never been nice to me. So before dying in his deathbed, he called me and he gave me his finest oh, collection no. of VCR porn cassettes. Oh no. When I don't even have a VCR player today at home. <laughs> I was like, uncle, where were you when I was masturbating to Tinkle Comics? Where were you? <laughs> at 30, at 30, they no longer call it friends catching up. At 30, they call it alumni reunion. Yep. When you hear that word in your life, that's when you know you're growing old. And alumni reunions are nothing but regret parties. They all Never regret attend parties. One. <laughs> I made the grave mistake of attending an alumni reunion recently. And in every alumni reunion, all the men are standing in one side of the room, looking at the women at the other side of the room and murmuring with each other saying, damn it, Macha, I should have said yes back in those days itself. Yeah, because she was the same girl. When she proposed to him in school, he turned her down because Talking to girls was uncool back in those days. Uh, uh, today, so though, she's true. become such a beautiful girl, he has no chance of dating her. All he can do is mm -hmm. <laughs> Classic male behavior this is. She is like and the mutual fund on, investment of high school dating. You should have listened to your father's advice and systematically invested in her over a period of time. You could have watched the dividends grow right in front of you. 
Think about it. Our high school dating scene is actually like an investment market where men and women are constantly assessing each other to risk to reward ratio. I can only speak from the man's point of view, but it applies for both of us. From a man's point of view, there are always these hot and happening girls in high school who are like the high risk stock market options, whose valuation is extremely inflated <laughs> due to so market true. conditions. Also known as desperate classmates. <laughs> No, if you don't have much of a risk appetite, it's okay. Don't get intimidated. Then you can go for the traditional conservative girls who are like the fixed deposit options. Mm -hmm. no, the returns there won't be amazing. But you're guaranteed a return. Oh, dirty dog. Dirty dog. The only problem is you're stuck with her for the entire duration. Mm -hmm. If you try to break out of it, exit load will be massive on your face. I mean, think about it, man. Indian cinema has been based on this theory only. I mean, it shouldn't take a stand-up comedian to come and break this down for you. I'll give you the best example. How many of you here have seen the movie Premam? Make some noise. <laughs> Premam, what happens in Premam? This is, the theory is proven best in that movie. What happens in Premam? In the opening scene of Premam, in that, uh, where all the high school boys go after that one curly hair girl, that alu, 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 that song happens, no? <laughs> Ah, what happens? That is that girl who's the high risk uh, uh, stock market option, whose valuation was extremely inflated, risk was so high. What happens? The father of that girl comes with a slipper in his hand and chases them away. Too much risk, bro. But thankfully, mm. Devin Polly, the hero of the movie alone, was smart enough to systematically invest over a period of time in the cousin sister of the same girl <laughs> by getting her the cup ice cream, cone ice cream, kuchi ice cream. By the end of the movie, who did he marry? Mutual fund, Madonna Sebastian, no! <laughs> the mutual fund. Well, this is why all the guys right now are thinking, okay, that means if I go invest in mutual fund, I will get a Madonna Sebastian, you know? No, mutual fund investors are please don't forget carefully before you invest. Thank you so much, guys. I'm going carefully. Thank you so much. Dude, on even as I, dude, he is so good. Okay, let me get into my thoughts. Again, I'm going to leave the link to his channel down in the description. I need you guys to go subscribe to his channel. Go show him some love from Dad's Den. Let him know, hey, Dad's Den sent me. Ken told me to come over here and check out your videos if you're not subscribed. I would imagine many of you guys are already subscribed. I, I can't imagine that you're not. But if there's a chance that you're not, go do it now. I've said this before in some of my reactions to Essays Comedy. He is like one of those comedians that is so good at taking the normal everyday life things that we deal with, that we experience, and he just makes it funny. You know who else was really, really, really good at that was Jerry Seinfeld. Jerry Seinfeld, I mean, one of the best comedians of all time, but he can take, just like Arivan S.A. can, he could, he could take normal everyday things and just make you just laugh so hard at him. And it's just, it. that's a talent, you guys. That is a talent. It's not anybody can go up there and do these things, okay? There's plenty of comedians out there that have their little one-liners, they have this, this, and this. But uh, what Ari Van Essay does is he sets up his punchline so, so good. And like I said, he's talking about normal things, right? He's talking about high school dating. Boom, we're going to go high school dating. We're going to talk about this. We've all experienced. We all, you know, we know what that feeling is like, right? And he takes that, he builds up the story, he's telling the story, telling the story, and then bam, hits you with that punchline. Boom, it's an everyday thing, great storyteller, great punchline, I mean, he's just, comedic timing is off the charts good. Um, Arivan S.A., another fantastic video. And you might be asking the question, did he just really compare S.A. to Jerry Seinfeld? Because Jerry Seinfeld is a legend. Yes, I did, I really, really did. Because I think in 10 years from now, you're, we're all gonna look back and we're gonna be like, Man, I remember watching Essay on YouTube way back in the day, back in 2020, 2019, 2018, you know, all this stuff. And even guys that you, like you, that were able to watch him like live and see his stand-up comedy, which I got to do, we're going to look back and be like, man, I got to see him live. Dude, that was so, so cool. And I think he's just going to be like a legend when it comes to long-term comedians. I mean, he's just... He's got that talent. He really, really does. If you watch all of my videos, you know we end every single video with a quote of the day, okay? Something to inspire you guys, something to make you laugh, something to encourage you. Today, we gotta do a funny one, okay? Now, I'm not gonna be able to pull this off and I'm not gonna be as funny as SA, but anyway, just, you know, I'll, I'm gonna give it my best shot, all right? So today's quote of the day is this. It says, I'm sick of following my dreams, man. I'm just gonna ask where they're going and hook up with them later. All right, that's the quote of the day. I hope you guys like it. I hope you guys like this video, and we'll see you guys next time. Bye.